What's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well here. Thank you for asking. I thought today I would make a short little video about road safety. Cyclists, motorists, all that stuff working together to get along as best we can. So, let's begin. Now, forgive me, some of my uh, things that I wear are a little dirty. I wear them every day. Uh, so, don't judge. First thing we're going to talk about gloves. Yes, my gloves are torn to shreds. Palm, sides, fingers, everything's torn. However, safety. When they're not completely filthy, and wet with sweat. Just got back from a trail ride, by the way. These are a nice yellow, fluorescent y, glow in the dark, kind of reflective uh, material. Safety. People can see from the front if you're reaching out and doing hand signals and stuff like that. People are seeing you a little more clearly, and it brings attention. What we have here are. Your basic, standard, cheap, Walmart, $3 safety glasses. I bought these back when I started riding in 2016. They're still going pretty strong. Uh, yeah. You need to have those eyes covered because of road debris and bugs and dust and dirt and things flying around. And even when you have these on, you can still get stuff in there. So very important to have some eye protection oh let's look over here what we have here is a bright yellow reflective vest Now, they make different types of these kinds of vests. This is just your standard. I mean, you, you'd probably see road crews with this kind of thing on. Or people working at Walmart would wear these. It is a little heavy. Uh, they make them out of mesh and other different materials that are lightweight, less material, etc. This is just the first kind that I ever bought. And it's the kind I, I've just stuck with. Um... I do have two sizes. This one is a, I think this one's a large. I don't even know. Um, let's take a look, see, guys. Yes, this one here is a large, and I wear this one in the spring and summer, and then I have an extra large, just like it, that I wear during like fall and winter because I'm wearing more layers of clothes, and so it fits over them. A little easier all right lights wait these are good because they're bright these stripes are reflective and people can see you from a mile away so you need to have something on uh, that makes you stand out from the environment a lot of these cyclists are riding around on dark color bikes they're wearing black or gray lycra and dark helmets and dark everything else and that's not safe that's not safety first you're not helping your case when you get hit by a car so wear something bright and reflective even if you have a shirt that's bright yellow or something like that like I do once in a while I wear one of my yellow shirts and I don't wear that um, so if you got those you can do you can go that route uh, right here, lights. Okay. Different settings. You don't really need all those different settings. Too many different settings. You really don't need all that. And we got a front light. Strobes. Lights are good. Uh, to use them during the day and the evenings, dark, what have you. Uh, I don't always use them during the day, but uh, it, you do get noticed a little bit more 
um, if you do run your rear strobe light it does help once in a while I'll run it during the day if I feel like maybe I'm a little bit more in danger or something but uh, yeah so always have some lights and they don't have to be real expensive go to Walmart get you some for three bucks ten bucks whatever so and then something that a lot of people don't think about and they take off instantly and they make fun of reflectors you know and sometimes pedals have them and sometimes they don't I think these might have used to I think these had reflectors here but they've broken off um, front reflector there I don't guess I have a front one here I might have took it off but even old school reflectors you know are better than nothing it gives you a little bit of a uh, pop at night a helmet with a light like this now this is not a real helmet light this light I actually took off of uh, you know like the little the little lights that you get and wear on your head it's got the straps and whatever you know they sell them for five ten fifteen dollars for packs of them I actually just unhooked it and took it off of the headband and I velcroed it so it's velcroed on good to have more light the better always try to increase your visibility uh, of course helmets you can get helmets that are brighter color and more reflective and some of them even have lights inside of them built into them and and what have you but uh I chose this one I chose a blue helmet so that's kind of a quick overview of some safety features that you need to think about when you're on the road there's a lot of people that are scared to ride on the road and if you try to think of yourself being in a car you know a vehicle going down the road what is it that you would want to be able to see you know you want to see some bright gloves you want to see you know a bright up here where you can make people out and, and they stand out from the environment so there are other things that you can do of course these are just what I do um, if you have any other suggestions, any other things that you do personally uh, for your visibility and safety on the roads, hey, put them in the comments below. And guys, that's it for this video today. I'll catch you next time. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I do all this for free. No monetization, no ads, no nothing, because I love you. Have a good day, a good Father's Day to those of you that celebrate it. Good week, good month, good year. And you know what? Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it with high visibility. We'll see y'all later.